Okay, so today we're going to talk about chromosome mutation. Um, so chromosome mutations can um, be one gene or many genes. They can um, be fatal, um, but they may not be fatal. Um, sometimes it's just something that you wouldn't even notice. So we just have to look at it on a case-by-case -case, um, basis. Uh, this is a karyotype, and that is what they use in order to find uh, chromosomal mutations. So generally what happens, um, baby's born, they notice something's different, and they begin to do genetic testing. Um, also, parents that know that they carry certain things can do genetic testing beforehand um, to see what the probability is that their offspring would carry or actually inherit whatever um, particular um, genetic anomaly um, that the parents are carrying. So <coughs> the first thing we're going to talk about is the deletion. So in the deletion, part of the chromosome is left out. It's deleted. So if you notice this one is ABC. T E F. This one is A C D E F. So the B or whatever that codes for would not be on uh, that particular uh, chromosome. So that's called a deletion. Second thing would be an insertion, and then that's when something um, breaks off of another chromatid and um, attaches to in the wrong place. And so that would be something like A B C D E F becomes A B B C D E F. So there's been something inserted um, that shouldn't be there. Inversions are when um, it breaks off and reattaches backwards. So for instance, instead of being A, B, C, D, E, F, it's A, E, D, C, B, F. Um, so that would be an inversion. Okay. Translocations are when it breaks off and it attaches in the correct order, but in the wrong place. Um, so if that's pictured there, that would be the Translocation. Now, non disjunction. Non disjunction is the failure of homologous chromosomes to separate properly during meiosis. So, all of these um, could be non disjunctions trisomy, monosomy, and triploidy. So, if you notice, here's what we have. So, instead of it separating to where we had this one and this one and this one and this one, we end up not having this second one, the darker one in this cell. So then as it continues to separate and divide, um, we carry that mutation throughout the process of meiosis. And in trisomy, a gamete with an extra chromosome is fertilized by a normal gamete. The individual has an extra copy of one of the chromosomes. So they have 47 chromosomes. In monosomy, the gamete is missing a chromosome and is fer fertilized by a normal gamete. This um, individual will have 45. Polyploidy, there's no separation of homologous chromosomes causing diploid gametes to be produced. It's rare and fatal in animals and more common in plants. It can result in larger flowers or fruits. So in plants, polyploidy may actually be a good thing, but in animals it is not. Okay. So if we look at this karyotype, we look to see like what is the actual issue. Okay, in this one, you notice that you have three. Okay, that's definitely not a good thing. This one, notice that you have X, X, Y. These are just some common um, karyotypes that you might see um, that would be incorrect. Um, and then this one, you have only one X. Um, so you're missing a second chromosome for that as well. So um, tomorrow we'll do some disorder detectives um, where you can actually look at some different karyotypes and figure out um, what may be going on.